Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. In this tutorial we are going to compare numbers up to 1 million. So let's have a look at the first example we're going to work through. I'm going to write two sets of numbers. That's the first one. And that's the second one. And the question is, we have to put the symbol between them to signify which is larger and which is smaller. Now do you recall the symbols? Let's write them in yellow in the top right hand corner. This one means less than, equals, and greater than. So which symbol are we going to put between these two numbers? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check how many digits there are in each of the numbers. As you will see with this one, there are six digits. And with this one, there are also six digits. The next thing is we're going to start on the left hand side. We can label each of the digits into units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and compare the numbers starting with the left hand side. So let's do that. We're going to compare the six, and this is six hundred thousand over here on the left, with the hundred thousand over here both of them are the same. They're six. And if they are the same, we cannot tell which is larger and which is smaller. Therefore, we're going to move to the next digit on its right, which is the ten thousands. We've got eight over here, and we're going to compare this with ten thousands over here. And this one is a seven. I'm just going to circle them. so just to highlight them, we've got 8 and we've got 7. Because the numbers are different, this is all the information we need to determine which is larger and which is smaller. So which digit is smaller? Is it 8 or 7? It's nice and easy, it is 7. Therefore, this is the symbol we put in between them. The arrow, the yellow arrow, always points to the smaller number. So we've done it. As for the rest of these digits over here and over here, it makes no difference what they are. They could be anything. Eight is eight to eighty thousand is greater than seventy thousand, and the other digits are insignificant. So we've worked it out. Okay, we're going to work through one more, and I'm going to write the two sets of numbers. That's the first one. And that's the second one. Okay, first things first, count the digits. They're both the same. Six digits over here, and six digits over here. Now, why is that important? Well, we've discussed this in previous tutorials. If one number had six digits and the other one had five, well, it's simple. The six-digit number is going to be larger. So if, you, if you've got that scenario, it becomes very simple. You don't even have to check any of the digits. You just check how many there are, and that's it. You don't have to compare any of the digits, I should say. Since these are the same number of digits, we're going to start again with the 100,000 on the left. Got three here, and we're going to compare it with 100,000 over here. We're just going to label these as we go along. 100,000. 100,000. And what do we notice? They're both the same. Three and three are the same, therefore, we cannot tell which is larger and which is smaller. 
Now we're going on to the ten thousands. So we're comparing the two over here with the ten thousand over here. So we're comparing two and two. They are exactly the same. So we still cannot tell which is larger and which is smaller. So now we're going to move on to the thousands. Let's compare those. The thousands over here, there's four. And we're going to draw this across here. And what do we notice? There are four thousands there as well. So we still cannot tell which is larger and which is smaller. Let's keep going. We're now down to the hundreds. So we're comparing the five over here with the six over here. So the digits are now different. Let's circle them. So we've circled them to highlight them. So we are comparing five on the left with six on the right. Which number is smaller, five or six? Well, it's five. So the arrow points this way. It points to the smaller one. Again, these two digits that are left over, it doesn't matter what they are. The way to tell the difference in this example B was the hundreds. As for question A, it wasn't the hundreds, it was the ten thousands. By the time we got to ten thousands, we could tell which number was larger and which number, which number was smaller. So that is how we compare numbers up to 1 million.